Inflation is out of control, but that's just my three cents. The United States is over $31 trillion in debt. This number is so high, most people cannot even comprehend how big of a number a trillion even is. For example, how long ago do you think a trillion seconds is? Go on, think about it. How long ago is a trillion seconds? This answer will probably blow your mind. A million seconds is 12 days. A billion seconds is 31 years. A trillion seconds is 31,688 years. A trillion is an absolutely enormous number. So what does it mean that the United States is $31 trillion in debt? And why should that bother you? As the government continues to print endless money, the money that you work so hard to obtain is becoming worth less and less. Can you characterize everything that the Fed has done this past week as essentially flooding the system with money? Yes, exactly. And there's no end to your ability to do that? There is no end to our ability to do that. What did we learn from 2008? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Ty, I would like you to crunch those numbers again. Here's my genuine reaction to looking at the US debt visualized in physical cash. So that's a $100 bill. All right, now that's $10,000. It'd be nice to hold that all at once. All right, so this is what $1 million looks like stacked, kind of like a pallet. Okay, here's an actual pallet, $100 million stacked. It's about as tall as that guy. Okay, $2 billion, uh, it takes up a truck, okay. <laughs> oh man. All right, one trillion dollars is compared to a jet. Good night. Oh my goodness. One trillion dollars is such a big number. I don't think we can even fathom it. That is wild. And it's, it's going nonstop. How's that going to be paid off? That's crazy. What? It's like four football fields. Oh my goodness. $30 trillion visualized. So we have the Statue of Liberty and these cash towers are overstacking. They are dwarfing the Statue of Liberty. That is so much money. $30 trillion in debt. And this is an older video, so we're now $31 trillion in debt. It's, it's larger than the mind can com comprehend. Such a big number. Wow. I'm very grateful for whoever made this. What, a, what an amazing visualization. <laughs> it, it like goes up to the sky. Can you imagine? And then they're still printing money nonstop. Wow. Oh my goodness. $30 trillion in debt. There's no way. Wow. <laughs> this is called inflation. Inflation is a rise in prices, which can be translated as the decline of purchasing power over time. It used to cost 25 cents to fill your car up with air. Now it costs $1.50. Do you know why? inflation. Most people's salaries are not going up as fast as their US dollars value is going down. Just look around you at how fast the cost of living is going up right now. Here's some concrete examples of the price increases over the last year. Fuel is up 58%, electricity is up 16%, new cars are up 9%, food away from home is up 9%. No wonder it costs so much to live. Here's an interesting chart how the debt grows under each president and it doesn't matter if it's Republican Republican or Democrat. That's very fascinating. There's a famous quote that says, inflation is the surest way to fertilize the rich man's field with the sweat of the poor man's brow. This means inflation is a tax on poor people in the middle class and is often not a tax on the upper class. Unless you already own appreciating assets such as a nice house, your money is being hammered away by money printing. Let me give you a real life example. In 1999, a teacher would have to teach 6,851 hours to buy this 
this house. In 2022, a teacher would have to work 11,795 hours to buy the same exact house. How is that fair? Because of inflation, a teacher has to work almost twice as many hours in 2022 than a teacher would have to in 1999 to buy the same exact house. Your grandparents were taught to save dollars and they would obtain wealth. That was true when dollars were backed by gold and couldn't be printed at will by the government. It is impossible to save your way to wealth for the average citizen today. You have to get out of cash. I'm in my 30s. I've noticed that many of my friends my age, myself included, are working multiple jobs to make ends meet. I work around 60 hours a week just to provide for my family. I noticed that my father and many of my friends' parents who are his age only had to work one job or just 40 hours to pay the bills. Oh, how the times have changed. Working just 40 hours a week sounds delightful to me. I hope to get there one day. Inflation truly is a theft of our income. Inflation is robbing us blind and many people don't even know it. You don't buy things with dollars, you buy things with your time. This is why I'm so passionate about teaching people about Bitcoin. Bitcoin fixes this. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin and never anymore. For this reason, the value of Bitcoin keeps increasing over time. The US dollar is being printed away into oblivion. The US dollar has lost over 96% of its value since the creation of the Federal Reserve. It doesn't have to be this way. So what do you trust more now, the US dollar or Bitcoin? The US dollar is backed by the full faith and credit of a government that is $31 trillion in debt. Bitcoin is backed by Austrian economics, or more simply put, Bitcoin is backed by math. Math has been around for thousands of years. Math will continue to be around for thousands of years to come. Two plus two will always equal four. Math is math. That's not the way you're supposed to do it, Dad. They want us to do it. This I don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? Uh, math is math. Okay, math Dad. is math. I'll just wait for mom to get back. In a world where everyone can print their own money leads to the totalized demand for money that cannot be printed. Bitcoin. This video is my open letter to Dave Ramsey. I've read many of Dave's books. I've listened to his podcast and honestly, a lot of his advice about living debt free is correct. I actually used the methods in Dave's book, The Total Money Makeover, to get out of debt when I got out of college. Dave repeats all the time that debt is bad. He always advises people to get out of debt. And that when you have debt, you are susceptible to getting your freaking head taken off. And so I consequently decided to be and live debt free as the shortest path to becoming and staying wealthy. But what Dave needs to understand is that the US dollar is a debt-based system. Here's what the Bible says about debt. Proverbs 22 verse 7, the rich rules over the poor and the borrower is slave to the lender. The borrower is slave to the lender. Let that sink in as you think about the US dollar. To even use the dollar and invest in companies that are propped up with the dollar is to live and operate in a debt-based system. Consider this, we are all familiar with how the stock market charts appear to always move up and to the right over time. But if you do not the stock market in gold instead of dollars, it looks like the stock market has flatlined. Here's how to truly live debt free. Buy Bitcoin, gold, or real estate. Invest in assets that have limited supply and are valuable. Bitcoin is a debt free money system. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin and never anymore. Bitcoin is the scarcest asset in the world. To invest in Bitcoin is to invest in freedom and sound money principles. See my video, Explain Bitcoin Like I Am Five to get a deeper understanding of why Bitcoin matters. Here is an imaginary clip I made of what it would look like if Dave Ramsey and Michael Saylor had a discussion through yodeling about Bitcoin and cash. Bitcoin's hot. Your crypto's hot. A lot of people are making a lot of money on it right now. It is, as you said, Michael, very, very volatile. And so it falls for me, an old guy, under the heading of getting rich quick. And I have not found many people that get rich quick. I tell you, huh? The words. Oh, the low, low. Yeah, the do, 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 the do,
Bitcoin is a technical solution to give 8 billion people property rights. If I, I, can, I can own $100 in my hand as easily as I can own a billion dollars. And uh, we've never had that in the history of the human race. Now this is a quality inflation meme. Look at these people printing money like crazy people. How did we get here? It just came out of nowhere. I want to repeat, I like Dave Ramsey. I think he's awesome. I just think he needs to learn more about Bitcoin. I believe the wisest thing you can do is learn to dollar cost average into Bitcoin. For example, buy $10 of Bitcoin every day and see what happens in five years. You will be blown away by the power of sound money. If you look at this chart and study it closely, you'll notice that there is an asymmetrical return for your investment into Bitcoin. Bitcoin has better risk adjusted returns than all other assets and this compares Bitcoin versus Tesla, Google, Netflix, Apple, Amazon, Facebook. In other words, it's more risky to not invest in Bitcoin. Check out the description for some links on how to buy Bitcoin. If you found value in this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment so more people will see this content. If enough people share this video with Dave Ramsey and his friends, I'm sure he'll see it. Bitcoin is here to stay and its value keeps going up over time because of sound money principles. God bless you and happy crypto. What's a webpage? Something ducks walk on? Ha ha, very funny. <laughs>